Hey, good evening, everybody, or uh, good afternoon, actually. Uh, we're glad that you are here. I'm glad that you're joining me and logging in um, and uh, as we continue to pray and uh, we continue to see God's face. And I've got a little um, devotion for you and, uh, if you and just kind of uh, something from the Word of God. Uh, if you want to, uh, if you get your Bible, uh, go to Genesis chapter 12. Go to Genesis chapter 12, and uh, I'd, I'd like to post this on there and just call it, uh, uh, the title of, of this little devotional is, um, you know, what not to do during a famine, what not to do during a famine. And, uh, and we can learn this um, from the Bible. We can learn this from the word of God and we can read in Genesis chapter 12, uh, the story about Abraham and what he did. Um, and we can learn from him uh, quite a bit. So uh, Genesis chapter 12, we're going to be there and then we're going to be praying for a couple of things from from the word of God. Uh, Genesis chapter 12, we're going to read this together. And you know that in Genesis 12, we see that God promised Abraham. God promised Abraham that he would bless him, that he would pour out his blessings over. So let's read it together. Genesis chapter 12, verse one says this. Now the Lord had said to Abram, get out of your country from your family and from your father's house to a land that I will show you. I will make you a great nation. I will bless you and make your name great, and you shall be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and I will curse him who curses you. And in you, all the families of the earth shall be blessed. Now, we know about that, that blessing. We've heard it. We've seen it. We've, we've read it before, the, the, the blessing of God we've, we've, uh, that, that God gave Abram. We've seen it. We've read it before. But look, look what he look what Abraham did. So God says, I'm gonna bless you. You're blessed to be a blessing. I'm gonna bless those who bless you. You're, you're going to be blessed. Verse four says, so Abram departed as the Lord had spoken to him and Lot went with him. And Abram was 75 years old when he departed from Haran. Then Abram took Sarai, his wife, and Lot, his brother's son, and all their possessions that they had gathered and the people whom they had acquired in Haran. And they departed to go to the land of Canaan. So they came to the land of Canaan. Now notice this. All right. So, so God tells him, I'm going to give you the land. Go to the land and I'm going to bless you. I'm going to make a nation from you. You're going to be blessed. And you're going to be awesome. God's going to provide for you. You're going to be blessed. So what does Abraham do? Abram do, does. He automatically takes his family, grabs his family. They head over to Canaan and he's there and he's at the, at the land and, he, and he's there. He's there at the, at, at the land and he's ready to be to be blessed. He's ready. You know, God, God's he's following what God tells him to do. All right. Now, if you read this story, if you read it, let's let's keep going. OK, if you keep reading at it, not once. Did God ever tell him to leave the land? OK, not once did it God ever tell Abram or Abraham to leave the land. But instead, I want you to see this. He goes up and he just he, he just he gets up and leaves when it, when things get tough. So I want you to read verse 10 with me. Genesis chapter 12, verse 10 says this. There was a famine in the land and Abram went down to Egypt to dwell there for the famine was severe in the land. So listen, God promised him. He says, go to Canaan. If you go to Canaan, I'm going to bless you. You're going to be blessed. Your na the nation's going to be blessed. I'm, you know, I'm with you. And, and, and he promises that. Well, the famine gets through. A famine occurs and a famine starts in Genesis 12. And what does Abram do? Abram decides to go to Egypt. He leaves the land. He leaves the promise and he leaves the land. And he goes to uh, to Egypt and, and to dwell there uh, during the time of famine. Let me, uh, and so so when when he does that, he makes some really bad mistakes. Now, remind uh, let me remind you, God never told Abram to leave and go to Egypt. God never told him to do that. Abram did this on his own. OK, you don't you don't read it. You don't see a command of God ever doing this. But Abram does this by himself. Watch this. Verse 11 says this. And it came to pass when he was close to entering Egypt that he said to Sarah, his wife, indeed, I know you're a woman of be a beautiful countenance. Therefore, it will happen when the Egyptians see you that they will say this is his wife and they will kill me, but they will let you live. Please say you are my sister, that it may be well with me for your sake. OK, a couple of things he's already Abram's already doing wrong. Number one. All right. Here's what we don't want to do. Number one, we don't. Put our trust on man or government. OK, you don't put your trust on any man or any government at that time. 
Egypt was the largest civilization. It was the largest uh, 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 government that was established at the time. So what does Abram do? Instead of putting his trust in God and in the word of God and in the promises that God had just given him, Abram goes and puts his trust in Egypt, puts his trust in what Egypt is going to provide for him, what Egypt does. Let me tell you something. You will always go wrong when you put your trust in the government or you put your trust in a person. Never put your trust on any earthly thing. Always put your trust in Jesus and in Jesus alone, in God alone, only him. Only he will never fail you. He will never forsake you. He'll never leave you. He's always by your side. What does Abram do? Abram decides, hey, I'm going to I'm going to leave uh, um, Canaan. I'm going to leave my land and I'm going to go uh, go to go to go to Egypt, which God never told him to do. OK, second thing he does. All right. In a time of crisis, a lot of people will bend the rules and try to, you know, change and do things so that they can get their own benefit and their own, their own stuff. Here's what Abram messed up. All right. When Abram goes goes through this, he tells his um, he tells his wife, Sarah, hey, listen, in order to, to make through this to, so that we can survive and do this, uh, I'm, I'm going to need you to lie. OK, if they ask you. And they ask you if you're my wife, tell them you're not. Just say that you're my sister because then you're going to die. Here's, here's what not to do during a famine, all right? Don't lie. Don't try to, 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 to cover yourself up. Don't try to do whatever, you know, other stuff. Listen, you, you, you always tell the truth. Always follow God's word. Always do what, he's, what he tells you to do and, 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 and be obedient to him. Listen, that later on cost Abram and cost him. And not only that, but it also cost the people of Egypt uh, the, the stuff that they were, that they were going through. Uh, because then they, they, they received plagues over, over Abram and what, what they had done because of this lie. So don't, don't, don't put yourself, don't, don't, don't lie or put yourself in, in a position to sin. Don't do that, okay? Don't tempt yourself or put yourself in a position to sin. Even in the middle of crisis, don't do that. Always tell the truth. Always be, be truthful and follow God's leading, okay? Here's, the, here's the, 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 the next thing that he does. All right, let's keep reading. We're in Genesis chapter 12. You're just joining me. We're talking about what not to do during a crisis. Number one, Abram, he trusted in Egypt instead of trusting in God. Okay, number two, uh, he, he, he trusted in, 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 in man instead, instead of God, all right? He, and the, the other thing he did is he lied during this time of crisis. He asked his, his, uh, his wife, uh, Sarah, to lie uh, during this time. We don't, we're, you're not, don't do that. Don't do that. All right, so let's look at this. And, and then he continues in verse 12. Um, he says, therefore, it will happen when the Egyptians see you that they will say, this is his wife, and they will kill me because uh, they will kill me but they will let let you live. Please say you are. Uh, please say you are my sister. That it may be well with me for your sake, and that I may live because of you. Verse fourteen. So it was when Abram came into Egypt that the Egyptians saw the woman, that she was very beautiful. The princess of Pharaoh also saw her and commended her to Pharaoh. And the woman was taken to Pharaoh's house. He treated Abram well for her sake. He had sheep oxen, male donkeys, male and female servants, and female donkeys and camels. Now, watch this, okay? Abram receives all these different things. Sometimes what you think is a blessing may be a curse, okay? What you think might be a blessing, it might turn out to be a curse later on, okay? He, imagine Abram, he's got all these, he's got uh, 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 all these cattle, all this, this money, all this stuff. And he also has, now he's been given uh, uh, male servants and female servants. All right. You, that may sound to you like, like a blessing, like, Hey, well, look, we're blessed. We're got, you know, we, we got blessed by Egypt, all that, you know, it may sound to you, but later on, I'm, let me show you something. This becomes a curse for him. This becomes a thorn on his flesh. So I, I want us to be very careful. I want you to be very careful that when, when there, you know, the, the devil can, can open doors for you and, 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 and try to bless you to distract you. What you think is a, is a blessing might be a distraction to keep you away from God's will. And that's exactly what, what happened to them. He receives female servants and, and male servants and female servants. Let me tell you who one of those servants was. All right. Let me tell you who it was. I want you to look at Genesis chapter 16. In Genesis 16, you can see in verse 1 who some of those some of those servants that Abram received, who that were, who that was. In, ver, in verse 1 says, now, now Sarai, Abram's wife, born him no children and she said she had an Egyptian 
maidservant whose name was Hagar. All right, you know the story. He, 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 who was one of these servants that, that, that Abram receives in Genesis 12? Hagar. Hagar was one of these servants that he receives. So when, when he thought, when Abram thought, hey, this is a blessing, guess what? Later on, it becomes a curse. It becomes a thorn on his flesh. You know the story? Abram, Abram uh, oh, Sarai says, look, you should have a, 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 a surrogate child through Hagar because God's not going to use me. Uh, so have a child through them. And through Hagar, they have Ishmael, and it causes all kinds of problems. In fact, those problems are still going on right now with the people of Israel and with, uh, with uh, other nations as well. So uh, well, what I'm trying to tell you is that during when you're going through famine, when you're going through the struggles, when you're going through these different d difficult things, all right, make sure that what you think are so-called blessings, uh, uh, make sure that they're not distractions from you doing what God wants you to do, okay? Uh, listen, our government is promising a lot of stuff. They're promising a lot of things. They're saying a lot of things. Be careful. Don't put your trust in a political party. Don't put your trust in a person. Don't put your trust in the government. As great as our government might be, as great as our country may be, don't put your trust on that. Put your trust in Jesus and only Jesus alone, okay? Only in God. So follow him. Follow what he tells you to do and, and, and listen to him, all right? So here's what I'm praying for. All right, here's what we need to pray about, okay? Because we don't want this to happen to us. Here's what we want to pray about. Number one, we need to put our trust in God's promises, okay? We pray that God that we put our trust in God's promises. Number two, that we don't put our trust in men or, men or, or in the government. Number three, that we make wise choices during this time. Listen, if you're going to receive that stimulus package or whatever, you receive that, that payment, great, awesome. Make wise choices with it. Don't go out there and blow it off on some uh, something that's going to lose value, and don't don't blow it off on, on things. Save it. Put it in your savings account. Make sure you 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 keep money there in, in case of your bills. Pay your rent. Pay your bills. Like I mean, take care of all that stuff. Make sure that you're using it for that. That's that's really what that stimulus package is for. So don't try to you know, buy something stupid with it. Make sure you are wise with that. So be wise with, with your money and listen to the Holy Spirit. Listen to what the Holy Spirit is telling you to do and listen to that. All right. So the other thing is during a time of crisis, we want to pray is that we don't, don't sin. All right. Don't put yourself in a position. Don't do you, even if you're in a crisis, don't steal, don't lie, don't do that stuff. So that's what we're praying for. That's what we're going to pray for today is that, is that God gives us wisdom to trust in the Lord here today. Amen. So let's join, join me together as we begin to pray. And, uh, as we, we begin to pray, if you, if you, if you missed this, listen, this will be on YouTube and this will be on, uh, uh, on, on our Facebook page as well. You can go back and listen to it from the, from the beginning and listen to the whole, uh, the whole devotional that we did today. Okay. And we were talking about Genesis chapter 12 and, um, about trusting in God during this whole thing. Amen. So let's pray. Let's take a moment and pray. Father, we just thank you, Lord, for today. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for a wonderful, wonderful day. God, we thank you, Lord, that you've given us another day of life. You've given us another day, Father, Lord, to seek your face, to do your will, to do what you've called us to do. So, God, in the name of Jesus, I just pray, Father, Lord, that you are speaking to us, Father, Lord, today. I pray that our hearts are open to receive. I pray our mind is ready to receive. I pray, Lord, that our hope is in you, God, that our trust is in you, Lord Jesus. I pray that every person, Lord, that's listening to this and watching this, God, I pray that their, that their spirit is open, Father Lord, to hear and receive what you have for them, God, what you want for them, Father Lord, in the name of Jesus. God, I, I, we worship you and we honor you today. We lift our hands to you. We lift our hearts to you, God, and we put our trust in you. We don't put our trust in anything else, in anyone else, God, but we put our trust in you, Father Lord. We don't put our trust in a, in a political party. We don't put our trust in a man. We don't put our trust in the government, God, but our trust is in you, Father. Our trust is in Jesus only. Only he can bless us. Only he can take care of us. Only he can save. Only he can heal. Only he can do what, what only he can do. Only, he's the only one who can do miracles. So, Father, we put our trust in you, God. We put our trust 
trust in you, Jesus. And I thank you, Lord, that, that you're moving in our hearts. You're moving in our lives, God. I pray that our faith is rising up, Lord, that we don't have any doubt, that we don't have unbelief, but our faith, Lord, will be in you, God. Our faith will be in your word. Our faith will be in your promises, Father. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we pray in your promises. We pray over your promises, God. We receive your promises, Father, Lord. Your promises, Lord, that you gave Abraham are there for us as well, God. Lord, we are blessed to be a blessing, Father, Lord. I pray, Lord, I thank you, Lord, your blessings are over us, God. I pray that your blessings are overcoming, Lord, us, and, and they're chasing us down, Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I speak truth over people, Father, Lord, over them, God. Lord, they are blessed. They are saved. They are forgiven. They are set free, Lord Jesus. They're the head and not the tail. They're above only and not beneath, Lord. Father, Lord, in the name of Jesus, they're blessed going in. They're blessed going out, Father, Lord. They're blessed in the city. They're blessed in their field. They're the, the next generation, Father, Lord. Their descendants are blessed. Their children are blessed, Father, Lord. Lord, they're, 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 their baskets are full, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord. Father, I thank you, Lord, that greater is he that is in them than he that is in the world. I thank you, Lord, that no weapon formed against them shall prosper. I thank you, Lord, that angels surround them, Father, in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, that you're blessing them, God, in a mighty, mighty way. I thank you, Lord, you, you shall supply all their needs according to your riches and glory, Father. I pray, Lord, that they, they can do all things through Christ who strengthens them, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord. I thank you that the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead, according to Romans 8, 11, lives and dwells in side of them, Father Lord, in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, according to Acts 1, 8, Father Lord, they have power of all, from Almighty, Lord, all, from on high, Lord, that they shall be witnesses, Father Lord, in Jerusalem, and Judea, and to the ends of the earth, Father Lord, in Samaria, Father, and to the ends of the earth. They are filled, Father Lord, with your power. I thank you, Lord, God, that, that um, for Mark 16, Lord, over their lives, God, Lord, that in your name, Father Lord, they shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. They will speak in new tongues, Father Lord. God, whatever they ask in your name. It shall be done, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord. God, I pray that nothing will harm them, Lord. I pray, Lord, that angels surround them, God. I pray, Lord, that your, your blessings are over them, Father, Lord. God, I pray that you, you, you keep them and guard them and watch over them, Father, Lord. I thank you, Jesus, that you're interceding for them, God. You're keeping them away from sin, Father, Lord. I just thank you, Lord Jesus, that every person, Lord, that is joining us, listening, Father, Lord, I pray that their faith is rising up and they understand and know who they are in Christ, Father, in the name of Jesus. We trust in your promises. We trust in your word. We trust in what you have said, Father Lord, over us, God. And we thank you, Father Lord, that our Redeemer lives. We thank you, Lord, that our trust is in, is in, is in you, Father. The power, the resurrection, the life, Lord Jesus, the way, the truth, and the life. Our trust is in you, Father Lord, and our trust is in all that you've said, God. Lord, if you've said it in your word, it is settled, Father, and we're going to receive it, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. I pray, Father, right now that every person, Lord, that's watching, listening, Lord, every person that's logging on, Father, Lord, I pray that they will not trust, Lord, in anything else. They will not trust, Lord, in anything else, but they will trust in you, Lord Jesus. Father, Lord, I, but the word of God says, Lord, I, 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 look, I, I look up to the hills. I, I, my eyes look up to the hills. Where does my help come from? My help comes from from the Lord. He's the maker and creator of the universe, Father. That is where our help comes from in the name of Jesus, Lord. And I pray, Father, right now that you're giving people wisdom. I pray, Lord, right now that you're giving people of your anointing. I pray that you're giving them guidance, Father, Lord. I pray that they make right, the right decisions, the wise decisions, Father, Lord, with, the, with what they're supposed to do, Father. I pray that they're wise with their money, I pray that they're wise with their time. I pray, Lord, that they are wise, Lord Jesus, with their decisions, Lord. I pray, Father, Lord, every pastor, every church, every leader, Father, Lord, that's out there, I pray that they are wise, Lord Jesus, and they don't put themselves in a position, Lord, to sin. I pray that they don't put themselves in a position, Father, Lord, to fall later. I pray, Lord, that these are blessings, Lord, and will not be curses, Father, Lord, later on. I pray that they are blessings and not thorns over their flesh, God, in the name of Jesus. I pray, Father, Lord, that every person, God, will make a wise decision decision, Lord, over all the things that they're doing, God, the way they manage their life, Father, Lord, the way they treat their, 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 their spouse, Father, Lord, the way they treat their children, Father, the way, Lord, they're treating their body, Father, Lord, that we can all make wise decisions, Father, Lord, and follow your word and your will, God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray, Father, Lord, that you help us, God. I pray that you speak to us, Lord. I pray, Lord, that you show us
us, God, exactly where to go, how to go, Father Lord, and what to do, Father, during this crisis, during this time. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, speak loudly, Lord. Father, Lord, we pray, we, 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 we just, Lord, keep quiet, Father, Lord, and we tell every distraction to be quiet right now in the name of Jesus so that we can listen to your word, so that we can listen to your promises, so we can listen, Lord, to what it is that you have for us, Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we don't want to uh, uh, listen to any, anything else. We don't want to listen to the flesh. We don't want to listen to Satan. We don't want to listen to the world. But Lord, we want to listen to you. We want to listen to the still small voice. We want to listen to the Holy Spirit. We want to listen to your word, Father, in the name of Jesus. So speak to us, Father. Speak to us, God. Let our hearts be open. Let our hearts, Father Lord, be open and receptive, Father Lord, to what you have in the name of Jesus, Father. I pray, Lord, that you keep us from sin. You keep us from lying. You keep us, Lord, from, from any, any position, Father Lord, to sin, God. The, that, Father, in the name of Jesus, we will trust in you, God. Lord, that we won't do anything irrational. That we won't do anything based on our emotions. That we won't do anything, Father Lord, that will keep us, that will put us in, uh, that will hinder us, Father, or hinder our relationship with you. But instead, Father, that we will listen and put our hope and our trust in you, Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray, God, for your anointing, Lord. I pray, Father, Lord, for your wisdom, God, over your people, Father, right now, that you help them, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And, Lord, we just come together as one. We come together as one body, Father, Lord. And we ask you, Father, to heal our land. We ask you to heal our government. And we ask you to heal our country, Lord, to, to, to heal this world, this, 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 this planet, Father, in the name of Jesus. And we ask you, Father, Lord, to move and intervene, God. Lord, Father, we just command that virus to go in Jesus' name by the authority and the power of Jesus that you've given us. We command that virus to go in Jesus' name. And we thank you, God, and we receive healing, Father, right now in the name of Jesus. We receive healing, Father, Lord, over those that are suffering, Father, with, over those that are sick, Father, over those, Lord Jesus, that are, that, are, that are on ventilators right now, that are on ICU and CCU, Father, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord. We pray, Father, Lord, that your spirit is moving and roaming, Father, Lord, through those hospital beds, God, and that is moving through those rooms, God, and you're bringing people up and raising them up, Father Lord. If you can raise Lazarus from the dead, Father Lord, you can raise a sick person from the hospital bed, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord. We, Lord, if you can raise J. Iris' daughter, Father Lord, you can raise a, a, a person on a ventilator, Father, in the name of Jesus. So, Father, we ask you to move, Father. Lord, we ask you to touch them, God. We ask you to put, pour out your spirit, over them, Father Lord, in the name of Jesus, and we just thank you, Father, that your, that your presence goes before us, Father, in Jesus' mighty name. God, we love you, God. We praise you, Father. We thank you, Lord, for your word. We thank you, Father Lord, that you come uh, before us. We thank you, Lord, that you're blessing your people, God. I pray, Lord, that they sh shall not lack anything, Father Lord, in the name of Jesus, but they will be blessed, Lord, beyond measure. God, may your spirit be, 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 up, be upon them, Father Lord, from the top of their head to the bottom of their feet. I pray, Lord, that they are, their home is protected, God, in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, that angels surround them, Father Lord. I thank you that angels encamp in their home, Father Lord. I thank you that your spirit, Father, is moving in them, God. I pray that they realize and know that they are the temple of the Holy Spirit and that the Holy Spirit lives and dwells inside of them, Father, in the name of Jesus. God, I thank you, Lord, for, your, for this day. I thank you, Lord, for the rest of the day that our day will be blessed, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord. God, I pray right now that you give wisdom to our, our leaders, God, to our president. Father, Lord, I pray that you give wisdom to our Congress, God, and, and Lord, those doctors and nurses, Father, Lord, that are in charge, Father. God, uh, our governor, Father, Lord, I pray that you give them wisdom, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, God, so that we can, we can, we can all be healed and we can go back to, 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 to assembling together as a church, Father. Lord, we pray, Father, Lord, that you begin to, to move, Father, Lord, in our economy, God, in our people, Father, Lord, so that they can be blessed, Lord, so that we, they can be protected, Father, in the name of Jesus. God, help us, Lord, to trust in you and not in anything else, Father, but only in you. In Jesus' mighty name, Father, Lord, we pray, we pray. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We ask you to move in this place. Holy Spirit, you're welcome in our hearts. You're welcome in our lives. You're welcome in our homes. In Jesus' name, we pray. 
Amen and amen, 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 amen. Thank you. Thank you for joining me here uh, on, on, on Facebook. We're going to be uploading it on YouTube again. If you missed the devotional from the front in the beginning, uh, uh, it'll be it'll be on there on Facebook Live. It'll be on YouTube as well. So go ahead and, and, and join. Uh, uh, listen to that and, and, and hear it there. Amen. God bless you. We'll see you again tomorrow at 12 o'clock uh, as we as we pray together. Amen. God bless you.